And so the march of SUVs continues, dividing to conquer the motoring landscape in new and interesting ways. Audi's increasingly fragmented SUV lineup is now crowned by this, the new Q8. Premium SUV to rival the likes of BMW Z6 and the Porsche Cayenne. The Q8 occupies interesting territory. Like the BMW X6 and Mercedes GLE Coupe, it offers a sportier character than wagon body luxury SUVs across the showroom. But unlike those cars, it doesn't use a coupe-like roofline to bring dramatic styling along with a dramatic reduction in rear headroom. The new machine looks sharp in the flesh, with bold design language including a deeply sculpted grille and flared wheel arches. Priced from $128,900 plus options and on-road costs, Every Q8 includes LED headlights, a clever multimedia interface home to three display screens, a digital radio, head-up display system, 10-speaker stereo and more. The Q8's 21-inch wheels ride on steel springs with adaptive dampers. Larger wheels, air suspension and four-wheel steering are on the options list. Addy equips the model with a comprehensive safety suite as standard, bringing 39 driver assistance features including autonomous emergency braking, active cruise control and lane keeping assistance. The brand expects more than a few customers to plump for a premium plus package which adds an impressive range of features including 22-inch wheels with adaptive air suspension, matrix LED headlights, four-zone climate control and more for $11,000. The orange car you see here costs just shy of $170,000 plus on-road costs. And it's lovely. The Q8 has an absolutely gorgeous cabin home to three high-resolution displays that are among the cleanest and easiest to use that you'll find in any new car. I love these high-resolution maps that use imagery from Google to augment your conventional sat-nav systems. It looks really beautiful. Another great feature surrounds these 360 degree cameras that you now find in luxury cars that offer an animated feature where you can sort of zoom around the car and check out what's going on around you to make sure that you don't hit any objects while parking. It also just looks really cool. On the whole, this is a very comfortable place to be, a beautifully executed cabin, one that really stacks up with Audi's traditional values. Unlike the larger Q7, which is available with a seven seat layout, the Q8 is a strict five seater but it offers a decent amount of headroom in the rear and plenty of real-world usability. Now, as you'd expect from a family SUV, the Q8 offers a reasonable amount of practicality. There's more than 600 litres of cargo space back here, and you can extend that by sliding the rear seat forward to give you more room in the boot. Naturally, Quattro all-wheel drive features as standard in the Q8. Unlike most of its rivals, which offer a broad selection of engines, the Q8 is currently available with just one motor, a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 similar to what you'd find in the cheapest Porsche Cayenne or Audi's S4 and S5 performance cars. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, the combination is good for 250 kilowatts and 500 newton meters. The Q8 is based on the Q7, but it has a character all of its own. It's lower and wider than the big Audi, and it only offers five seats instead of seven. This is a more focused sort of car. Audi says that it is a rival to the X6 and Porsche Cayenne, so let's uh, take it for a drive and put that to the test. Now under the bonnet we've got a 3 litre turbocharged V6 petrol engine. It's the same engine that you'd find in something like the Audi S4, which is a bit of a performance car. Now this does not have a diesel engine, not yet, and that is a real point of difference compared to the Q7, which only comes with diesel power. Now the V6 engine in this car is really nice. It's smooth and sonorous, quite powerful, gets along quite well. Doesn't feel hugely fast, but it does have a little bit of pep. It really feels like a car that would normally wear the Audi S badge. So when you give it a bit of a punch, yeah, you can feel that there is a pretty decent response from that engine. It revs cleanly, builds plenty of power, and it has a great partner in a ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, which is probably the best auto you can buy now, short of Porsche's dual-clutch automatic PDK. There's plenty of technology going on in here. We've got adaptive air suspension at the front and rear that works to tailor the car to various conditions. When you're in dynamic mode, it lowers down to the ground and firms up the dampers and the shock absorbers to basically make the car as responsive as possible when you're out having a bit of a go. If you take the car off-road, it jacks the suspension right up and softens things off a little bit to make for a more comfortable ride. We've also got toys like four-wheel steering, which makes the car feel a little more agile than it ought to, and dynamic steering as well, which increases the speed of the steering rack to suit different conditions. And on the whole, the result is a car that feels more dynamic and agile than a two-ton SUV really ought to. It's up there with cars like the Cayenne when you really press on. I have to say the air suspension option is an absolute must in the Q8. We drove a car on conventional steel springs earlier on and found that it had a really brittle ride and very boomy noise to the suspension action as well. Air suspension doesn't give you that. It's much more comfortable and refined out on the road. Audi's range-topping cars all wear the number eight. The A8 is its premium sedan, the R8 is its fastest performance car, and the Q8 is its top-of-the-line SUV. 
Impressive to drive and beautifully finished, the new Q8 deserves to be a member of that club. It's on sale now.